Okay, now the bike is warmed up. We're gonna go. And it is <coughs> quarter up with my seat's wet again. <laughs> oh. I'm going to head down to work. Down here because of the, the drains at the side of the road overflow basically. Just have to take it easy in the wet. Most of the time you can't change gears on a, a slow corner because I wouldn't recommend it anyway. Because if you give it the slightest bit of gas, when you roll off the gas to put on the clutch, if you've got the slightest bit of gas and then you let back out the clutch, the, the rear wheel will slide. As has happened many a time to me. And it's not amazing. <laughs> Neutral. <laughs> that, that often happens in this bike actually when I mean, it's cold. You seem to have a false neutral an awful lot. Just when it's cold it very rarely happens when it's warmed up but you know look at that you can even see the floods in that field there like the, the 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 river overflowing. See it? Just shows you the rain we get here. Anyway, this video doesn't really have a topic, it was just to show you the warming up the bike but at the start, but we'll just keep it going, look, there's a bus here, this will be how to pass a bus. So you're going to approach it, looking in your mirrors, you're going to check, is it necessary? Yes, it is, because there's still people waiting to get on, so indicate, right lifesaver, left lifesaver. It's always good to give it a bit of gas when you're overtaking someone because well if they pull away and don't see you, you'll be riding alongside them and you'll be like oh come on so you're always best to get past them as quick as possible in my opinion anyway just not amazing Honestly, I'm not kidding. It rains 24/7. Actually, not. Maybe, maybe 24/6. I think there's one day out we get it, but the rest. <laughs> the rest. Which road should we do? We, we take the small 20 mile on our road, or the? Then we'll go this way. This is the the small 20 mile on our back road. Thing. Deal. And break life see that. And yeah. So I would actually see this road as as a car. It's just a wave to him. I always like to wave the cars just so they definitely know that I've acknowledged them, so we'll just give it a wave. Mm. 
man, my shoes are wet already, I can feel my wet feet. What basically happens is every time you go through a puddle, the water from the front of the bike just splashes up in the side and gets you all wet. And there's actually a, there's a very nice bike sits in here, a red, a VTR 1000, also known as a RC51 SP2. So then get an action shot. Very nice. It actually sits there in the, out in the road, you know, it's in the road area. And, um, and it very rarely moves actually, you know, I've never actually seen it move. I think the guy must have tried it at weekends, but it's obviously it's a bit dangerous to still leave it sitting out in the road all week. Especially on this weather, I'm surprised it's not. This is my work, Vauxhall. I usually just There's Carol standing for a smoke and as you can see he's standing at the side of the road and it's a five mile an hour limit. And my camera's steaming up. Which is not amazing. And you see there's cars parked up here, which is. Oh, this is dodgy. <laughs> Had a small accident there, but never mind. And yeah, that's my right to work again. <laughs> Goodbye, my middle's okay. <laughs> it survived.